with software engineering, there's a very sort of common, okay, well, if the AI analyst can do very similar work to the human analyst, do you need the human analyst? Or if the AI software engineer can do very similar work to the human software engineer, do you need the human software engineer? And I think that's, that's the wrong way to look at it because the value doesn't come from just replacing human labor with an AI thing that does something equivalent. It's being able to do more because typically companies aren't trying to just shave off a few pennies. They're trying to grow faster. They're trying to add more to the top line. They're trying to, you know, instead of building the same amount of software now that everybody else is, is building more and better features, build more and better features. And that means the role of the software engineer, the role of the data analyst changes a little bit. Your work probably doesn't look exactly the same as it looked before. You're curating context to help the AI analyst work better. You're almost acting a little bit more like a manager than you are like an individual contributor because you might be managing several of these different agents you have in different tabs and having them all do work for you. And you're synthesizing that work together and creating a finished product that's, that's really good. And using this capacity that you just wouldn't have had before. So I think it, it almost takes the work that was previously very, very individual contributor, and it adds an element to which you are managing some of these other, these other agents. So I don't think it, it decreases the number of people. I think it more changes the output 